Hello, and welcome to my next video. I'm Trippy McMillan, a self-taught, unlicensed, unprofessional nail technician, and there's a couple of things I wanted to talk about before beginning this video. The first thing I want to talk about is the metal pusher. You may falsely recognize this as the cuticle pusher. It says here in my cosmetology training information, the metal pusher is designed to gently scrape cuticle tissue from the nail plate. It is not to be used to push back the epinicium living skin at the base of the natural nail plate that covers the matrix area. Yet there is another definition in my cosmetology training information that totally contradicts it by stating, A metal pusher is a multi-use implement used to push back the epinicium but can also be used to gently scrape cuticle tissue from the natural nail plate, so I have no idea what it wants from me or how to properly use it. I apologize in advance for my lack of knowledge. The next thing I want to talk about is illegal activity. What does this have to do with your nail videos, you might be wondering? Well, I'll tell you. I was in training as a cosmetologist for six months. When it came to hair, when we were in training and we got a license, we were only allowed to practice on our own hair, our doll heads, or even our clients, but not on any other people, no matter what, or they'd threaten to never give us our licenses, even if it was for free. We practiced on each other's nails once, though, for free, so I think it's legal as long as no one pays anyone? Although I'm not sure whatsoever. No one is paying me to do this and it is not a tutorial. It's simply a nail inspiration video purely made to give ideas to people who already legally work and practice with nails. If anyone is familiar with these laws in Washington State, please feel free to comment some of your great knowledge down below. First, I used the metal pusher to clean the gunk out from under my nails. A wooden pusher, also known as an orange wood stick, is supposed to be used for this step. You wrap it in cotton first to avoid damaging the nail beds. Because I was doing my own fingernails, I decided to use my metal pusher instead. I believe it has the maximum potential for cleaning out the most gunk. Next, I file the nails so they don't have sharp or jagged edges. When filing natural nails, it is important to file from the sides of the nails to the centers of the nails in one direction. Never use a back and forth sawing motion while filing nails. It can lead to splintering of the nails and can cause damage to the hyponychium and nail plate. Now I'm using the metal pusher to gently scrape the cuticle and hyponychium away from the nail plate. Next, I use the nail drill to file the nail plates. This helps the polish stick for a longer period of time. I used a very gentle drill bit piece for my natural nails because they're already too thin to be drilling down any further. Now I'm going to use some base coat on my nails. As we learned from my previous video, base coat also helps the polish stick for a longer period of time. I then use the UV light to dry my nails for 60 seconds. Next, I'm going to use poly gel to build extensions onto my nails. I use the spatula to get the poly gel neatly out of the tube. I then wipe it on an acrylic nail and use the brush thick and slip solution or 70% isopropyl alcohol to spread the poly gel on the nail until it's fully covered. Now, I'm going to put the nail on the correct fitting finger, which is my pinky for this example. I'm going to press and hold the nail and poly gel on my pinky in the UV light to dry for 120 seconds. To get the acrylic nail layer off, use slip solution or 70% isopropyl alcohol to loosen it from the poly gel. This makes it easier to peel without causing as much damage to the nail extension. Using the spatula, I place a second layer of poly gel on the extension and smooth it out with slip solution or 70% isopropyl alcohol to make a neat, even layer of cover. Next, dry the nails in the UV light for another 120 seconds. Now, I paint on a layer of top coat to avoid the stickiness of the poly gel while shaping them. This is not the final layer. 
Dry this layer of top coat in the UV light for at least 60 seconds. Next, I'm using the nail drill to remove the excess poly gel out from under my nails and around the edges. This is a very important step to follow. Without it, your finished result will be lumpy and uneven. Now I'm using a third layer of poly gel just to be sure my nail extensions are secure. I then dry the poly gel in the UV light for another 120 seconds. Next I use another layer of top coat and dry it in the UV light for at least 60 seconds. I shape the extension once again with the nail drill to ensure it has the desired shape. Now, I repeat these steps on the rest of the nails so they're all extended. It's very difficult to do more than one nail at a time using poly gel. I'm now going to use this thin little brush here with some white gel polish to create nail art on my extensions. To keep the nail art from smudging while in the process of creating more, I suggest drying the gel polish in the UV light for at least 30 seconds in between each nail design added. This way, if you mess up on the nail design, you can wipe it off and try again until you get the desired look without destroying the designs you've already made. Next, preferably using yellow gel polish rather than stamping polish, take a ballpoint implement and dip it in the color. Make little circles in the middles of the designs made like mine to create little flowers. Now, dry the nails in the UV light for at least 30 seconds. Using a final layer of top coat to seal the designs in, pick between matte and glossy. I changed it up for myself this time by picking matte. Dry the nails one last time for 120 seconds. Now that I'm done with my manicure, it's time to bring some moisture back into my fingertips using hand lotion. Finally, we're all done. If it wasn't obvious already, I just wanted to clarify that I actually don't really know how to properly use poly gel or a nail drill. But considering that and the fact that I've never painted flower designs on my nails before, I think they're super cute. Please like, subscribe, and comment any ideas you'd like to see me try next. Thank you for watching.